Plymouth is back from the dead and go to electric. Well, a Plymouth is back from the dead and go to electric. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gary Gastelou, and this is A Car Report. Mopar has revealed the very cool build it's bringing to the SEMA show in Las Vegas this year. It's a 1967 Plymouth GTX that's been restored and modified with an all-electric drivetrain. Now, they didn't just swap the body onto the platform of the upcoming Dodge Charger Daytona, but they did borrow some parts from that vehicle to create an e-crate motor that could potentially swap into any classic car. In this case, it's a 335 horsepower motor with the top design to make it look like a Hellcat V8. Mopar designed custom motor mounts that can be scaled to fit pretty much any application. And unlike the Charger Daytona, which has motors mounted at each axle, this one sends its power through a drive shaft to a solid rear axle, just like the original GTX used. The vehicle's been lowered, the suspension upgraded with coilover shocks, and has a wide modern wheel and tire package that the designer showed off by opening the rear wheel arch, which is a little skirted on the original GTX. Most of the 73 kilowatt hours worth of battery cells are mounted in a special cage in the trunk, but about a quarter of them are up under the hood. Aside from an estimated driving range of about 250 miles per charge, Mopar hasn't yet released any performance specs, but expects it to be pretty quick. The interior has been updated with the seats from a Jeep Wrangler, all new upholstery, and a modern gauge cluster with retro styling. The color scheme inside and out, a mix of blue with bronze accents. Mopar hasn't yet confirmed that it will be offering an electric crate motor like this, but if it goes on sale, we will let you know. So don't forget to check AmericanCarsAndRacing.com every day for the latest Mopar and automotive news.